All right, what's up guys? So I'm gonna do another video on removing noise in OBS Studio. <clears throat> so I already did a video on the same topic. Uh, so check that out. It's a really quick two minute video, um, which uses OBS's built-in filters. But if you don't like the results of that, or maybe you just wanna know another way, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use VST plugins. Um, and basically what they are, VST plugin is a way to change uh, the way your microphone sounds and there's plenty of paid plugins and free plugins but I'm going to show you guys uh, Reaper's plugins which are actually free. Um, Reaper itself is not free uh, which is a digital audio workstation <clears throat> but the plugins they are free. So just type in Reaper plugins first link and click that download it and just install that just default location is fine you know how this works <laughs> and yeah so next thing you need to do open up OBS you don't actually need to restart it which is cool uh, go down to your microphone again and click the cog and filters <laughs> So you'll notice I don't have any filters except for a uh, gain filter. Um, so go down to the plus sign. And as of OBS 18.0, um, OBS now directly supports VST plugins. If you're using an older version of OBS Studio, uh, you will not see this option. And if you're using OBS Classic, you will not see this option at all. <clears throat> so make sure you're as up to date as possible with OBS and click VST plugin and just put in any name that you want. So here <clears throat> you'll see a list of the plugins that you just installed. So from Reaper down basically, these are the plugins that we just installed. And the one we're interested in for the time being is this FIR standalone. So just open it up. <clears throat> And what this plugin is basically going to do is it's going to create a profile of your voice. Uh, sorry, not of your voice, of the room noise and subtract that from your microphone's audio. So if you've used Audacity's noise uh, reduction filter, it's more or less the same idea as that. So what you're going to do, I won't do it yet because it will actually mute my microphone, but uh, you want to click mode. <coughs> and then subtract and when you go subtract a checkbox will appear so when you see that checkbox you want to be as silent as you possibly can and click the checkbox and then what it's going to do is it's going to listen to the room noise so that it knows what it sounds like and then when you uncheck it then it'll just subtract that from your microphone's audio <laughs> so just watch what i do um and follow it um yeah, just follow the same things that I do. <clears throat> All right. So we should notice um, the, f the fan noise from my computer should have been completely gone by now. Um, and yeah, you just want to make sure that you don't have too much noise in your mic because then it'll take away too much, uh, of your mic's frequencies and then your voice will be really metallic and you might get a high pitched noise in the background. Uh, if you listen careful, carefully, you might actually hear that, um, in my microphone's recording, <clears throat> but what you can do as well. And this part is optional, you don't have to do this. You can also add in a noise gate filter, and this can also help with removing keyboard clicks or mouse clicks or anything like that as well. Uh, so go here. You can use OBS's built-in noise gate, but I've never been a fan of uh, the way they've implemented it. But luckily, Reaper has its own noise gate filter, which I think is very intuitive and Think most people can understand it so we can click open interface and 
you can just ignore basically everything here. Just pay attention to this meter here. Uh, but uh, if you if you don't know what any of this means, don't worry. Um, or you can just ask me and I can explain it. But most people aren't going to have to worry about that. Just pay attention to this meter here. <clears throat> and you want to move this level up so that uh, your mic will only activate once it reaches that level. And if the, the signal through your mic goes below that level, your mic will be completely muted. <laughs> so I'll stay silent so you can see where the level stops. Uh, sorry, where the meter stops. And just put the level slightly higher than that. Okay, there is about good. <laughs> so you'll notice when I stop talking, my mic gets completely muted. <clears throat> so that can get rid of that high-pitched uh, ring that you might hear. Um, <clears throat> or it can even just get rid of keyboard clicks and mouse clicks as well. Um, <clears throat> that's basically it. You can play around, add in more plugins as you see fit, but th I think those two plugins uh, are going to be really helpful for most people. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, if I went through any of that too quickly let me know leave a comment and i'll get back to it as quickly as i can but until then thanks for watching and i'll see you guys whenever i make another tutorial